At dahil simula na po ngayon ang selebrasyon ng 50th anniversary ng People's Television Network, ama nag-imbita po kami ng mga taong naging bahagi po ng growth ng tagumpay ng PTV. Sila po ang boses sa likod ng mga napapanood po natin, promotional videos at iba pang VTR dito po sa People's Television Network. At yung umaga, ibabahagi po nila sa atin ang kanilang hashtag Kwentong PTV. Huwag na po nating patagalin pa. Live na live ito po sa studio ngayon ang dating voiceover talent at program host ng PTV na si Ma'am Pinky Aceron. At kasama rin po ang kasalukuyang voiceover talent dito sa PTV na Sir Braggy Braganza. Good morning and it's an honor for me Good na kasama morning. po namin kayo Good ngayon. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. Braggy. Kahit po yung bati po ninyo, ang ganda po ng dating no, ng inyo mga boses. Salamat ng marami. Yes, good morning. Happy uh, 50th anniversary. Yes. Sa atin. Yeah. Happy sa anniversary. Atin, sa PTV. Yes. Alright, pagbalik tanaw po tayo, kwentuhan po ninyo kami sa naging journey po ninyo dito po sa PTV. Ma'am Pinky. Okay, actually, um, it goes as far back as when uh, I just graduated from college. Mm -hmm. No, actually, hindi. College pa rin ako. Oh, okay. I um, did my practicum here mm. uh, under the administration, when the station was still under the administration of President uh, Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Okay. Uh -oh. So I was, uh, I was an intern, and then after graduation, I was invited by uh, si Boss Bong Serra ng sports division to uh, no, work as a PA. Okay. Uh -oh. we, we were, well, uh, we were uh, doing the rounds of yung palarong pambansa, mm -hmm. tsaka yung um, gintong alay ba yun, yung kay Michael Keon. No? Mm -hmm. We would cover um, yung mga uh, sports activities mm -hmm. no? uh, sponsored by um, Mr. Keon. And uh, I did that for a while. No? I was a PA until I got a job uh, as a newscaster and news writer for a pop station, okay. 99.5 RT. So, medyo nawala ako. Mm. Tapos, bumalik ako uh, nung panahon ni FBR, mm -hmm. uh, Fidel V. Ramos. Uh, I was invited by, well, actually, I was invited by Miss Chit Gatan to um, audition for the role of continuity announcer. Okay. Tapos, ayun eh, naman, pinalad naman ako, nakuha ako. Tapos, uh, I, I was doing voiceovers. I was voicing uh, yung mga merchandise plugs ng station. And then, but my biggest break came uh, when I was, uh, when uh, the late press secretary, Serge Raymond, they got me to co-anchor uh, a news and public affairs talk show with veteran broadcast journalist, Mario Garcia. And that was Tinig ng Bayan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that went on for about three years. Tapos, uh, huminto. And then, nung nagkaroon ng ano, paghahanda para sa hatol ng bayan under the administration naman of uh, President Noy Noy uh, Aquino, yun, uh, I was also invited to, I was invited once again to co-anchor the talk show, the interview talk show. Katulad ng ginagawa mo. Yon. So, uh, sa madaling sabi, I served um, PTV uh, in different capacities under four different administrations. Wow. Okay. Wow. Habang binabahagi niyo po yung kwento po ninyo, Ma'am Bingi, parang naisip ko, parang ganito nga rin yung pinagdadaanan ko Iba. Oh, oh, yes. Tsaka proud po kami na sabihin na naging bahagi ng PTV si Ma'am Pinky Aceron kasi naririnig po natin ang kanyang boses sa sa telepono yung parang the number you have dialed. Di di uh, ano, is uh, kung globe ang telepono ninyo, Ako yung naririnig nyo. Pasample nga po. Uh, the subscriber cannot be reached. Ayan. Please try again later. Ayun. Yeah, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Marami na iinis doon. Tsaka Pag naririnig trend. nila, oo. Oh, kasi, ano, sabi nila, parang hindi nila makontak yung kinukontak nila. Okay. Tapos boses ko yung naririnig nila. At saka sa trend din, naririnig din Ayan, natin ang boses MRT, ni, oh, ni Mom Pinky. Yung arriving at North Avenue Station. Paparating na ng North Avenue Station. Ayan, boses po yan ni Mom Pinky. <laughs> Eto naman, punta naman tayo kay Sir Bragan, sa Sir Braggy. At kwento yeah. niyo naman kami ng inyong kwentong PTV. Okay, so sa PTV, nung nag-start naman ako, I, I was with another network. And then I said, I wanted to do other things. So, nag apply ako sa sports radio and then ang daming applicants and then uh, and then I think they got me already that time and I said someday I'm going to work in that building mm -hmm. dito sa PTV mm -hmm. tinuturo ko from the other side dahil sa PBS kabila lang naman and then uh, I met si Ed Finland he called si Miss Nitz who is the head of uh, merchandising that time and he said Nitz you come over to my office bakit? 
God just answered your prayers. Oh. What does that mean? So, you know, I think they were looking for uh, a uh, voiceover announcer mm -hmm. that time for the network. And then they were looking at me. So, yung application ko, napasa yata sa kanila. And sabi ni Miss Nitz, can you do Tagalog? Sabi ko, yeah, sure. So, they gave me a bunch of scripts na mga existing na mga merchandising plugs na mga uh, lineup na scripts. They asked me to record it. Mm -hmm. And then sinabi lang nila, oh, you come back tomorrow and then we'll try to listen to your voice and voice over for the existing mga plugs na. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they got me already. So, I was doing both sports radio sa PBS and dito sa PTV. So that's how I got in. Okay. And the rest was history. <laughs> oh, ngayon naririnig na rin natin oh, ang po. boses sa Sir Bragi sa mga ibang mga, mga promotional videos natin dito sa PTV. But I want to know, may pinagkaiba po ba yung pagbo-voice over noon kumpara po sa mm -hmm. sa ngayon? Nako, napakalaki. Okay. Ganyan kasi uh, back then kasi uh, wala pang ibang platforms mm -hmm. or venues, no, for for our voices to be mm -hmm. used. Uh, it was ba basically for broadcast and advertising. Uh -huh. So we were basically uh, doing voiceovers for commercials for radio and television mm -hmm. and uh, you know, continuity announcing, mm -hmm. you know, doing voiceovers for merchandise plugs for TV networks. And then technology happened. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, nagkaron ng ibat ibang platforms, and of course, nagkaron ng um, you know, technology to make all of that possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I would have to say that the pandemic sort of did that. Mm -hmm. So it's something that, it's one good thing that the pandemic brought about, no? Yung we learned to adapt to the situation. So, um, and of course, since meron ng ano, mga, you know, technology uh, to our disposal, we can do just about anything everywhere anywhere we are mm -hmm. Kunyari, uh, kasi before before the pandemic we were so used to going to the studios yeah. to record mm -hmm. and we had we had technicians to record our voices and edit mm -hmm. the, vo the voice files nung nangyari yung pandemya sa bahay pwede oh, na oh, oh. napilitan kami mag work from home oh, kasi kung hindi wala guto mang aabutin mo mm -hmm. and of course uh, uh, that was at that point no uh, there was so much competition already. You know, the voiceover industry was already thriving, and um, there have become more venues uh, for for voice talents to to practice their craft. Uh, it's not just for commercials. It's not just for AVPs, for documentaries. Now you have gaming. Oh, 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 oh no, voiceovers for games. Yeah. And then, oh, oh, and of course, yung mga dubbers, the usual, no? Yung mga uh, for teleseries. And um, you also have, well, nandyan pa rin yung mga voice actors, of course, no? Mm -hmm. For the dramas and the teleseries. And uh, marami, na, marami akong mga former students sa UP na nag-voiceovers or they, they act as dubbers now for um, movies uh, that are featured on Netflix. Mm -hmm. na may Filipino adap, ano, mm -hmm. um, dubbing, no? Filipino subtitles, mm -hmm. ganon. So, in other words, a lot has happened, no? Since, since, uh, nung panahon namin. <laughs> Old school, <laughs> okay. ayan, I just aged myself. Uh -huh. A lot has happened since then because of technology, uh, there has become, uh, there have become more uh, platforms and of course, uh, because of the pandemic, we, we've had to learn to adapt to the situation. Mm -hmm. Well, in a way, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Yan nga, sabi nyo nga, isang magandang naidulot nitong uh, pandemya ito. Right. Pero I want to know, ano po yung hindi ninyong malilimutan na karanasan dito sa PTV? Let's start with you, Sir Bragi. Nako, karanasan, alright. <laughs> so, mga hindi ko malilimutan, I guess siguro, um, flashback muna to, way back. Yung dati, yung mga nagsistart ako sa PTV, very tight yung mga um, paggawa ng mga script. No? They, they really want me to be here on time. So may mga time na wala akong car noon, walang grab, walang taxi, walang jeep available. It's so traffic. Ang hirap sumakay. Bagyo, nagbaba sa kamyas. Going here, kalayaan to PTV, Mindanao. Ang hirap makarating. Tawag ng tawag yung mga kasama natin sa merch. Sir, kailangan na po i-VO yan. Papunta na ako. Sir, tinatanong, nasa na ako, na ako kayo? Paparating na ako. Pero actually, hindi pa ako nakakasakay. Okay. Doon nakasakay na ako. Sir, we understand na bagyo po ngayon. Ang hirap sumakay at walang masakyan. 
bukas na lang po natin gawin. Okay. Pero parating na ako. So, dadating pa rin <laughs> ako and then we would still do the voice-over sunod-sunod na mga script. And then, fast forward, like sinabi ni Ms. Pinky, during the pande- pandemic, nag-iba yung trend na we used to come here and then that time, nagbuo ako ng sarili kong recording studio na sa house. So, anytime they would deliver the script, medyo bigay nila ng gabi, ng noon time, or what, pwede na mga voice-over. And it was very quick because of the technology nga naman. Send mo lang sa email and then check nila if you missed some words, if you pronounced it right or wrong, and then pwede mo na i-revise, may revision, and then you can send it right away. Mm-hmm. So, very tight din ng mga, ano, ano, ang daming scripts, pumasok yung mga about the pandemic, mga uh, basta't sama-sama, kaya natin to, yung mga ganun na mm-hmm. mga plugs. And it aired all over um, the TV stations in Metro Manila that was produced by PTV and Malacanang combined yata. So, very massive din yung paggawa namin ng mga scripts. Even though walang pasok mm-hmm. and uh, nagkaroon ng uh, lockdown, but yung pag-produce natin ng scripts for PTV and the government, tuloy-tuloy yung paggawa yeah. and masipag mm-hmm. yung mga tao nakasama natin sa merchandising. Okay. We made it all happen. Yeah. Okay. I want to get your wisdom. Ano, bilang kayo po ay talagang kumbaga, mga batika na rin sa industriyang Nako. ito. Ano po yung maa-advise po ninyo sa mga mga young journalists probably, mga young voiceover talent na nasa mm-hmm. industriya rin pong ito. Bilang kayo po ay uh, matagal na rin po sa industriyang ito. Ma'am Pinky. Ang sa akin, unang-una sa lahat, no? don't let uh, money drive you. That shouldn't be the primary driving force no? in, in, in your decision to get into it. Kasi it will come eventually. But right. you have to start somewhere. You have to start from scratch. You have to start from you know, square one. So, kami, kami ni Bragi, we've been through a lot. And uh, we... Of course, you know, it, our, our work may look glamorous, but it's a lot of hard work. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, tsaka ano eh, kailangan talaga matyaga ka. Um, and you have to learn to do other things other than, you know, voicing a script. Mm-hmm. Right now, you would also, you have to also learn how to edit your own okay. voice file. Uh-huh. Kasi ngayon, sanay na rin ang mga kliyente na ini-email na lang sa kanila mm-hmm. yung mga voice files. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan marunong kang gumawa niya. All ako around ka na, ano? <laughs> yeah. Oo, oh, napilitan ako talagang pag-aralan oh. yan. Kasi, kung hin- you know, kasi, syempre, marami ding competition na mas bata. Mm-hmm. Correct. So, you just have to, you know, you just have to learn. You know, learn the ropes and, and be as, as competitive as you possibly can. And of course, learn to take rejection graciously. Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, hindi pala palagi makukuha ninyo yung, o mababag ninyo ang project. You will get rejected at some point. And when that happens, don't feel bad. Uh-huh. Because it's not about you. Uh-huh. It's not about you eh. Uh, siguro nagkataon lang na in, hindi yung boses mo ang hinahanap mm-hmm. ng kliyente. Mm-hmm. Diba? But eventually, you know, there will be a, a project that is definitely meant for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, basta ano lang, uh, just... You know, persevere. Yeah. You know, okay. and of course, you know, learn to take rejection graciously and don't let that discourage you, because there will always be. It's a long journey, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's it's a continuous learning process, and there will always be opportunities Ay, for yeah. you to shine. Uh, maganda ang mga naibahagi ni Mam Pinky. Sir Bragi, <laughs> yeah. ano naman pong may bahagi? Parang dami ko na absorb doon sa sinabi ni Ms. Pinky. Thank you very much. Which, <laughs> which gives me an insight on how to give my example. Okay, so mga nag-voiceover, na-experience ko din yun na may script na dumating. And then I said na, I'm gonna get this. Bagay ito sa voice ko. Mm-hmm. And then sabi niya, Sir, dalawa po yung pinagpipilian. Kayo tsaka isong, itong uh, tao na to. Mm-hmm. Nung pinadala nila yung voice file sa akin, narinig ko, he sounds so old. Mm-hmm. But he also matches the script. Mm-hmm. Nagkakaroon ng image ng identity and all that, yung brand. Pero sabi ko, parang ba't siya kinuha? Eh, sabi nila, wala silang budget. Eh, mas mura ako doon, mas bata ako. Okay. Mas may edad siya, mas okay. matanda yung voice. And I assume that his TF is higher. Mm-hmm. So I said, that, okay, baka nagmatch lang talaga. It's not my voice, it's his. And then, whatever the TF is, let's just accept kung mababa or mataas. Well, we can work on uh, the budget, you know, anyhow. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, yung bottom line dito, doon sa mga gustong pumasok dito sa career, it's not an easy craft. 
they think that hosting voiceover and all this and that is an easy thing bosses lang daw but you know you have to learn new things iba-iba yung mga delivery iba-iba yung uh, modulation iba-iba yung uh, mm -hmm. style so i think you know what i can say is that it's a never ending learning process Absolutely. Uh, so you need to adapt to different kinds of scripts different kind of approach and uh, style and then para ma matuwa naman yung mga nagpo-produce yung mga humihingi ng mga talento nat natin para ma-promote yung mga brand nila and other things that they need to do uh, in terms of having us as voiceover ng kanila ano so relax lang tayo uh -huh. and uh, yeah we should learn some more and adapt to uh, new things katulad ng mga pag voiceover sabi ni Miss Pinky yeah, meron na yeah. ngay mga anime mm -hmm. voice talent meron mga hosting and all this and that so and dami dami mm -hmm. so we can learn all of these things one by one and you can find yourself siguro uh, being uh, uh, being uh, able to uh, see yourself doing that particular thing. Kunyari, journalism ka. Mm -hmm. You can be good at journalism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do uh, voicing, oh, voiceover and or hosting and newscasting. And dami pwedeng gawin. But you can always find uh, the perfect one for you. Okay. Minsan hindi mo pwedeng gawin lahat. Oh, right. If I may just add yeah, sure. to what uh, Braggy said. Um, ang mga kliyente kasi, they choose to work with people who don't give them a hard time. Yeah. Oh, yung hindi oh. mahirap ka usapin uh, pagdating sa yes. sa presyo, mm -hmm. pagdating sa deadline, pagdating sa pag-deliver ng quality work. Mm -hmm. So, pag kunyari, let's say, pumasa ka dun sa lahat ng yon, you will be first on their minds. Right. Uh, top of mind ka sa mga Correct. kliyente. Correct. Kasi I remember a client telling me that she loves working with me because... I make her job easier mm. now. And what that's, nice. that's, that's music to your oh, ears, yeah. diba? Oh, Parang, okay. oo, oh, nakakataba ng puso. At saka, ibig sabihin, diba, maganda ang, ano, maganda ang reputation mo sa industriya. Yeah. Kasi, yun nga, you're very professional and at the same time, madali kang katrabaho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Eto, before we let you go, of course, gusto namin ng sample sa mga, sample, kung baga, oh. binoise over niya dito sa PTV. Alright, Sir Braggy. Sample, okay, so good for Rise and Shine ah, Filipinas. Sige, sige. Okay, so, <laughs> alright, so, sama-sama tayo, Monday to Friday, kasama natin si Diane Carrer, Fifi De Los Santos, and Audrey Goriseta. Dito lang sa Rise and Shine Filipinas, <laughs> sa PTV. <laughs> Ang ganda, boss. Mang <laughs> Pinky, baka may maalala kayo na voice niyo before. Ang tagal na no, ano oh, ba yun? <laughs> Panahon pa ni FBR, kung, bi, may, kung meron kayong sanang script, okay lang, oh, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, pero... <laughs> ha? ASEAN! <laughs> Alin? ASEAN. Oh my God. <laughs> Ilang ASEAN yun? No? no, kasi yung, yung mga binoboses ko for ASEAN are basically documentaries. Oh, documentaries. So, medyo mahaba siya. And of course, you know, iba yung de delivery nun eh. Hindi katulad nung kay Braggy na, you know, oh, very, uh, oh, very perky, oh. ganon. So, ako kasi, ang niche ko kasi is yung mga documentaries, yeah. mm -hmm. corporate videos, ganyan, mm -hmm. because of the quality of my voice. Oh. Yeah. Well, happy 50 years po sa happy atin. Happy 50 years. Happy anniversary and more power to PTV. More power, yeah. Yes. Salamat po sa inyong pagbisita dito sa amin sa Rise and Shine Pilipinas at kami po ay na-inspire sa inyo pong hashtag kwentong PTV. Again, salamat po, Ma'am Pinky, Sir Braggy. Thank you very much. Thank you po sa inyo.